by the end of this video, you will have known what spiritual awakening is and why it's very important for you to begin your spiritual awakening journey. So welcome and let's begin. So when you hear the word spiritual awakening, most things will come to your mind because of stereotypes out there. So when people hear about spiritual awakening for the first time, because they lack an awareness or knowledge of what it is, this leads to many people are coming up with erroneous conclusions about what it is. And this is best because when something new comes up that people don't know, people are very skeptical about it. So this video will explain to you what spiritual awakening is and why you need to begin this journey. So when someone says they have been spiritually awakened, what they simply mean is this. They have woken up to the reality of how life is. Now, let me enlighten you a little bit. Now, when you are born into this world, you enter the game of life. In other words, life is a game. And each person, when they are born, they are assigned the character that plays the game. So the body that you embody, this physical body that you have, is the character that you will use to play the game. Now, when someone is not yet awakened, they identify with the character that they get assigned with. For example, my name is Hazari. This body is the character that I play as. In other words, I am the player, but I play as Hazari. This physical body that I have is the character that plays the game. But note that I am not this body. I am simply the player that uses this body. So the body, the name, the identity that I have in this physical dimension is the character that I was assigned with. So when you are not yet awakened, you think that this character is all that there is to life. So whenever someone offends the character, you feel attacked. Because this character, as it grows into the game, it creates identifications. It creates attachments to external things in life. Hence, many people believe that when they attain something, let's say when you attain financial stability, when you attain some a, a very good relationship, People think that these external things are going to give you the fulfillment that you need. This is because of the attachment to the character. And when you are not awakened, you make your life goal to pursue these external things, thinking that these things will give you fulfillment. And that is where many people make the mistake while playing the game. So this means whenever you lose your true identity, and you think you are the character, it means you are no longer playing the game. You are simply following the script that was assigned to you by the people who were around you when you were born. Let's say your parents, your relatives, your teachers, your society, and your community. These people are the ones that give you the script when you think that you are the character. So when you become spiritually awakened or you come to the reality of how things truly work in the world, this is the point whereby you step away from being the character and you come to the understanding that life is essentially an experience and you are the experiencer. You are not the experience, you are the experiencer. Being the exper thinking that you are the experience, this is whereby you connect yourself, you attach yourself to some certain situations. Hence, you find people saying that I am cursed. I cannot get this. Life is hard. Life is a place of suffering. This is because they mistake the experience to be who they are. But note, you are the experiencer. This means that you are the observer, the ever-present I in this game that you are playing. So when you come to the realization that there is much more to life than this body, than this name, than what is in this dimension, that is when you come to a place whereby we say, so and so has become spiritually awakened. So that is essentially what spiritual awakening is, which is to say, you just come to the realization that you are a spiritual being having a human experience in this vessel. In other words, you, your true self, is the spiritual self that uses this body to navigate through this dimension. Remember that when you die, what essentially happens is that the body cannot, uh, the spirit cannot function in this body anymore. Hence, you die. The body dies, but the spirit proceeds on. It might uh, get another body 
or it might evolve into other incarnations. That is essentially what happens. So when you step back and realize that I am the spiritual being having this experience, this means for one, you now open your eyes into reality. Then what happens is that you will also come to the realization that you are not the thoughts that you have. There is a saying that goes, I think, therefore I am. And this is what has led many people into a lot of difficulties in trying to understand who they are. Hence, you will notice that the thoughts that pop up into your mind, you're not the one who cultivates these thoughts. You are the one who observes. So instead of identifying with the thoughts that come up in your mind, you step back and you start to identify or observe them or you create the, uh, uh, the quality of awareness. You start to observe your life. Many people don't observe their life. They are always in their minds. They always think they are the body. But when you understand you are the player, you step away and start observing the character. You observe what triggers the character. What does the character want to do that the character think will give it fulfillment? Let me give you an example. Now, when I was young, I used to want to have um, a bicycle. I believed that when I get a bicycle, I would truly feel fulfilled and I would not want anything else, right? But that was an character identification or character seeking fulfillment. I got the bike. When I got the bike, I felt pleasure for a certain, uh, for a while. Then I realized that I needed another thing, okay? Then that other thing was a phone, a mobile phone. Then I got a mobile phone. When I got a mobile phone, I thought that I would no longer need anything. Then after that, I wanted something else. What I'm trying to simply imply here is that the character will never get satisfied. You can never find true fulfillment in the external things because the external is the illusion. Where the truest self is, is the internal. So spiritual awakening is journeying within to connect with your spiritual self. Your spiritual self is your God self, or in other words, as the spiritual community likes to call it, is your higher self. Your higher self is that part of you that knows the life purpose that you have in this dimension, and it will enable you to walk your path and discover yourself as the true authentic self. So the first thing to do uh, to start your spiritual awakening journey is very simple. You have got to enter what we call observer mode or you start to become aware of your reality. This is done in various ways. Number one, this is, uh, this is whereby you start to watch the thoughts that pop up into your mind. Remember I told you, you are not the thinker. You are the observer of the thoughts. You are not the experience. You are the experiencer. So in order for you to experience, you must observe. You must be total aware. You must be in the present moment. When you are in the present moment, you start to notice the patterns. And these patterns are what determine what you create or what you experience in your life. So let's say in your life right now, you are experiencing a reality that you do not desire. And you have to know that you, as the character, you have been creating this reality based on what we call your frequency. So what is a frequency? Now, there is this uh, concept or general knowledge that everything is made up of energy. Okay, Energy is simply movement of particles in a substance or anything. Now, everything contains energy, either tangible or intangible. Now, this energy simply vibrates, and these vibrations happen at a specific frequency, right? So, the uh, form of energy that you emit is in the form of emotions, the emotions which you have. Emotions are simply energy in motion. So, the energy in motions that you have are what determines the vibration that you have, and in so, they also determine the frequencies that you have. So if you are living in a miserable condition right now, let's say you are you're going through financial difficulties, relationship-wise, and things are just not working for you. This is because you have been feeding that frequency with the same kind of uh, reactions because you are living in the character mode. But when you step away from the character and be the observer or the player, you start to realize how you've been feeding this um, creations of viewers through the frequencies that you are. This is where the law of attraction comes to play. You attract what you are. So let's say if you are always thinking about negative outcomes in your life, if you are always a victim mindset, uh, a victim-minded person, 
This means that you are vibrating at the negative or low vibrations, which will essentially mean that these vibrations will get sent out to the universe and the universe will create a similar event based on what you projected and then you will come to experience that in your reality. So this is to say that when you become a player, you become mindful. You do not, you stop reacting to life. You understand that things are just trying to trigger you so that they can get an emotional response. Understand that emotions is and are the language of God. If you can become a master of controlling your emotions or to not or stop reacting to the external things that happen because you observe them, you will start creating the kind of reality that you desire. So to sum this up, what you need to do, you have got to start watching your thoughts. You've got to start becoming aware when thoughts pop up into your mind. Remember, thoughts are the seeds that you start planting in your subconscious. And once the subconscious accepts something as being truth, it starts the process of creation there and then. So to begin your spiritual awakening journey, you have got to realize or start to become the watcher of your thoughts instead of becoming the thinker become the observer of the thought. So that is just the first bit or the first part of your spiritual awakening journey. So I know you want to learn much more about this. And this is whereby I want you to go and watch this video. It will give you more insight about how to start praying like a spiritual awakened person. And if you love this content, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay awakened.